Hi you guys, welcome back. It's Stella's Knife Obsession. And I'm going to do two knives, one on one end of the spectrum and the other on the other end. <laughs> so we have a, a pretty beautiful premium type of knife here. And we also have a, a very budget friendly knife here. Now the reason I'm doing these together is because they're both done by uh, Todd Knife and Tool. So TKT if you will. Um, Let's see here, I wanted to show you. There we go. Actually, both of these are interesting knives, to say the least. Uh, they're, they're both really good looking knives too. I love the almost sheep style, Warncliffe type of reverse Tonto blade action we have going on here with the uh, this little swoop down or canted edge, if you will. So, so there are a couple things that you're going to see that are so, so similar between the two knives. It's crazy because, just like I said, that one is is at the expensive end of the spectrum and the other is cheap, you know. So um, it's just something that I find indicative of Todd Knife and Tools uh, designs. So... Just so I could show you the handles real quick. You can see in the uh, carbon fiber, we have this milled out area right here that gives it a sort of futuristic dimension. But we also have it in in the budget knife, which is pretty amazing. It shows that uh, Todd Knife and Tool, have they, they have a signature. And I really love their signature. So we have this little carve out on the micarta scale but we also have these three dots on both of them. I wouldn't call them dots, I guess. I would call them holes because they go through to the other side. Um, but just so you can see the similarities between, uh, from one, one end of the spectrum to the other, there are similarities. That's what I'm trying to say. I have a, a problem spitting things out, getting things out, you know, speaking, if you will. So anyway, um, Okay, so so we have the, the three holes and the uh, milled out stru structuring of the scales. Beautiful. I mean, I wanted to bring you back to this, this carbon fiber again. It is so beautiful. I just, man, I can't get over <laughs> the looks of this knife. I mean, you know what it reminds me, though, now that... I see it all the time. It reminds me of a Strider. Um, now, I don't have any Striders because they're too rich for my blood, as of right now, anyway. Um, but I think it, it just has that shape where, uh, oops, Strider has the the palm swell down here, and then it gets a little thin in the center, where then it carries onto the blade and gets wide in the middle or towards the end. Um, yeah, I just think this is kind of cool how they did that. I really do. Um, this one has the fuller or in the slot in the blade that you can easily uh, reverse flick with and you also have great action with the thumb stud or the uh, reverse the rear flipper. <laughs> um, but this has this wonderful choil right there. It has some great jimping right here. It's very chewy but it doesn't hurt your thumb at all. It's, it's just you can get an amazing grip on this thing. Very solid, and the build quality on this knife is phenomenal. I mean, it's just amazing. <laughs> I love it. Um, there are... Oh, I love the way they did the... Uh, it's like a spear point, I guess. It does line up. Let's see. I have my ruler right here. A little four-inch ruler. Um, let's see. Does the pivot and the blade... For the most part, they do line up. So I guess I would go with this is a spear point. It, it's honestly, you can call it whatever you want. <laughs> so, well, while I have that out, let's check and see how long this blade is here. So, oh, we have a uh, two and three quarters inch blade on the um, uh, budget offering here. Uh, I love the micarta on this too. This is some unique micarta. It has a beautiful feel to it. 
it's very nice and grippy and I could see if you worked in wet situations how this would be fine in the hand because when this I could see when this gets wet it's it's definitely gonna remain grippy so I don't think you'd have a problem doing some you know some of that type of work with this blade it's a great little blade shape too it's kind of a Warncliffe type and it these are great utility type blades because it does have that little bit of uh, the belly just a little bit um, but the Warncliffe style blade kind of helps in the fact that if you don't want to pierce something when you're cutting uh, it points down but if you do need to pierce something it it doesn't point down so much so that it's it makes it awkward for you to pierce something so you can actually use this in any way you really want it's a very versatile blade so great great offering I, I love this little knife it's it's comfortable in the pocket you can't feel it at all uh, if you get a really nice grip on here which and this is a pretty small blade too you can choke up right here um, just to show you what I mean they did the uh, plunge grind in a weird way <laughs> but you should have absolutely no problem getting a couple really good sharpenings out of this blade it is 154 oh no this one's a uh, 14c 28n I forgot but uh, yeah you should be able to get more than two I would say more than two or three good sharpenings out of this because they they ground it up toward the middle of the blade a little more there but it also provides that little bit of a choil so you can choke up on it too and I, I love the fact that you can see a signature between these uh, knives. I love the fact that there's consistencies between the two. And I love the fact that he, or Todd Knife and Tool, easily makes a beautiful knife. But they also show how easy it is for them to make a really good utility uh, type of knife. Like a utilitarian type of knife. This thing is great. It doesn't have like the best action, but I think I can improve it by, I, I'll most likely if I can find the right size, I'm gonna throw some uh, skiff bearings into this knife because it would just be amazing. I have to tell you, I my new thing in the knife world for me um, is skiff. I am all about skiff bearings. I looked up Gillian bearings, um, but they're more expensive and I just don't see where I why I, there's nothing making me there's nothing making me want to pay more for their just a, for their name I think honestly I think skiff bearings are just as good if not better I don't have I can't really say positively but I mean I don't have both types so I really can't say positively but I don't see why they would literally charge a, a probably a dollar to a dollar fifty more for the same exact type of uh bearing you know so um but yeah i i the bearings in this are just they they feel dry and um so who knows maybe a little oil is all i need to put in there you know this one kitty hold on guys all right my mischievous little brat of a cat um, but the, uh, the Shodan, this thing is so beautiful, you guys. I, I love it so much. Uh, I, it's, this thing is massive. You can use this for whatever you want. You can beat on it hard if you want to. You can use it just for looks. I mean, this thing is a conversation starter at very least. This thing has been hailed, <laughs> Um, by people that I work with that, or people that I'm around that are not anywhere near being knife people. And they're like, wow, that thing is beautiful. So, yeah, the looks alone, they really got me here. It's, it's just an amazing knife. It's got the full package. It's beautiful. It's a collectible, but it's also usable. It's, it's You can beat the crap out of this thing if you want. I love the grind on that blade. Um, I love that you can see those 
grand lines. Oh man, is that beautiful. That is one big, large blade too. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I uh, measured it for you guys. So just the cutting edge is, um, wow, it's 3.4 inches. So we're looking at an overall length of, let's see, we'll, we'll go from the pivot. Let's see. Yeah, three and a quarter, three and three quarters, I mean. But just the cutting edge alone. Yeah, three and a quarter. Maybe a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not positive on that, but um, it's not that important because that one millimeter isn't going to get you arrested or not, you know, because in most states with the three-inch rule, this is not legal to carry. So <laughs> whether it's 3.6 inches or three three and a third it doesn't matter you're still going to get a ticket unfortunately um now this one uh the uh what is this the syntax that's what this is i like the name of it i really do i think it's awesome and i love that you can choke up because this is a really small knife um there's pivot to pivot that thing fit easily fits inside the shodan so um it's a great little utility or backup or even main knife if you so choose. You know, it's a great, great. And they do have different variations of the blades. Some of them are satin finish. I believe they have a stone wash and they have the black wash, black stone wash finish. So, um, great little knife. So if you're looking for a little utility type of knife, mm -hmm. this is a great choice. So if you've got it sitting in your cart, you might as well pull the trigger on that one because that's going to work for you, I think. You know, if you have massive hands, um, this might be a little small because even in my hands, it's we're looking at like, yeah, I mean, all four fingers, but they are really smooshed onto the, the handle. Now, if you choke up, you can easily get four fingers. I mean, and I have fat fingers, but... Uh, fat female fingers and fat male hand, uh, fingers are two different worlds. So, you know, just to let you know. But I will show you. Um, you do have, it's an odd feeling right here because you're so used to feeling it rounded out like that. Um, it, it feels different, that's all. But it's, you know, it's not like a big deal. There's no hot spots that I feel on this knife either. Uh, this one, um... There, the only thing about the Shodan is there are some really sharp spots on this knife where things weren't chamfered uh, completely. But it's not something that would make me not buy the knife if I were looking forward to that. And uh, you saw, say you saw this review and it stopped you from buying it. I would not stop. I would buy this knife any day of the week. It is amazing there are little sharp spots like right here um you can't really feel it when you choke up though so that's why it's not so bad you know you have this uh the uh let's see the the spine of the blade that's what i'm trying to say here it is a little bit sharper than i think it should be but it it's all in the lines of this knife um the the lines look sharp i mean this is a sharp looking knife and I don't mean in the way that the blade is sharp. I mean, it is a sharp looking knife. Um, it just has a couple spots, you know, um, uh, that are sharper. Um, the handle for the most part though is very nicely chamfered while still keeping that sharp line aesthetic. I think it's gorgeous. It's got a futuristic look about it. It's got, uh, you know, a modern day, uh, beauty that you see in knives nowadays and just the quality that of carbon fiber that they put on this thing it's fantastic and also I would say this knife for as large as it is it's not very heavy because of the carbon fiber so they they you know by not making well this one they do sell variations of the knife with both sides in titanium 
So you do have the option, but I'm assuming that would be a couple ounces or at least an ounce heavier. This thing though, it, it rides pretty well. It, it's a little bit of a pocket hog, but not too bad if you're only uh, carrying one knife in that pocket. So it's actually, it works out very nicely. Um, great knife, you guys. I love it so much. Um, and then the Syntax, great little backup. So these two together are perfect because you, you're probably going to be using this one a lot more anyway, um, depending on what type of work you do, you know, so... Now, let me just throw this quarter in there for comparisons, uh, see, uh, so you can see how large the Shodan is compared and how small the syntax is as compared to the quarter. So, yeah, here, let's do this. So you get the same angle on both of them. Very nice. And then here's a four inch ruler that I'll just stick in the middle so you can see. We'll go up to the tip. There we go. There we go. So you can see that this thing is, it, it is a big, beefy, hard use knife with so much class. It's beautiful, guys and gals. Um, but on that note, um, now that you see how I feel about this and what, there, there are a couple of negatives. I mean, just the chamfering, it's not even that negative, really. It, this thing is, it's fine, you know. I just really needed to find something to <laughs> critique. And that was pretty much the only thing I could come up with. I love it. Otherwise, it is beautiful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to cut this short. Well, actually, it's not too short at all. It's about 15 minutes. So anyway, I will see you on the next one. Until then, so... See you soon.